Hello, welcome to the first of our Lenten hymn meditations. Uh, our pattern will be that we'll talk about a hymn for a little bit, and then we'll have a stanza sung, a stanza or two sung, and then uh, I will play an organ setting. Our first hymn is Lamb of God, Pure and Holy, which is number 434 in Lutheran Service Book. Jesus as the Lamb of God, References in the Bible to Jesus as the Lamb abound. Here are two examples. John the Baptist refers to Jesus in this way. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. In Revelation we hear, Worthy is Christ, the Lamb who was slain. The hymn, Lamb of God, Pure and Holy, is an expression is an expansion on the Lamb of God that we sing each Sunday in the liturgy. In the common orders, the text is simply, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. This text is sung three times, with the third ending being, grant us peace. In the hymn, Lamb of God, Pure and Holy, the author expands the text. The Lamb is the one who is on the cross, who and who on the cross did suffer, the one who offered himself to scorn, the one who bore the sins for us. As such, it is particularly appropriate for Lent. Nicholas Decius is the author of both the text and also the tune. A contemporary of Martin Luther, Decius was a monk who became a Lutheran pastor. He served in the northern region of Germany, and thus his texts were first published in what we call Low German, and then later they were published in High German. It is thought that Decius based his melody on a 13th century Gregorian chant melody for the Agnus Dei, or the Lamb of God. Decius is probably better known as the, for the, as the author of the hymn, All Glory Be to God on High, which was sung widely in place of the glory in excelsis. So now, Miranda Munson will sing one stanza of Lamb of God, and then I will play a setting of it by Johann Sebastian Bach. Mm -hmm. 